all these years, man. You guys are ready for it? Okay, Operation Hedgerow is a go. Episode 6, February the 6th, 2024. I am still up on the hill from getting up here way early this morning to avoid my uncle. See episode 5 for the details on all of that. And uh, I'm waiting on it to warm up. It's about 45 degrees out now. I'm going to give it to around 12 or 1. And then we're going inside uh, the trailer. I'm going to try to get some before and after footage. Just plunder around a little bit, see what's going on. Um, again, before then, I'm going to, you know, eat a little bit of breakfast, brought some raw garlic with me and just to relax, maybe play the Steam Deck some, also brought my Steam Deck with me. And I'll be glad after this week, as I mentioned in my other video, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this time, but I'll be glad after this week... I won't have to come up here so freaking early and just sit in the truck and wait for it to warm up and, and get daylight. Uh, because after this, I'll be able to come up here anytime I want to because I've got most of the outdoor stuff cleared. Um, today, primarily, I'm just kind of doing a scouting mission. Again, I want to get some bee footage. I want to do a little bit of narration, maybe, if I'm able, and just see what the condition is inside of there. Because the only times I've been in there lately, there's a train going by, by the way. I'm all just keep rolling with it. Uh, the only times I've been in there lately has been kind of dusk and dawn and I haven't got a good look at the place. So I'm going to check it out real good when it gets nice and sunny and warm. As warm as it's going to get. It's only going to get up to about 50 today. But it's, it should be a pretty day as far as winter time goes. And uh, might get a truckload of junk. I don't know. I was thinking about things though since I'm out here and I'll do this at the real at the real quick at the start of the video. If you look, and I hope this shows up on camera, uh, we got an outbuilding built onto the side of this old trailer, right? Um, like an enclosed porch. What I was thinking about doing, maybe, because the one end of this trailer is pretty much unsalvageable. As you can see, the, the siding's ripped off of it and everything else. I'll have to fix that if I do start restoring it and moving up here. Um, saying I don't just put a camper up here or build a, a shotgun shack. But on the notion of building like a shotgun shack, I was thinking about putting the building back there where that old building was at. But then I started thinking, well, you know what? The living room and kitchen area of this old trailer, it's, it's all right. It's livable. It's cleaned, but it's 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 not like falling apart. So I was thinking about I could wall off, you know, just wall off the hall, the hallway or put it. Well, I wouldn't wall it off because you might need an emergency exit. But put a door in the hallway real quick, you know, so you could have some security and lock it. Uh, and plus, you know, you could separate you could separate the living room area from like like the back bedroom area and still have a pretty good sized like a you know living room kitchen sized space and then on the side what i could do is i could uh, build a new deck out and make it an enclosed deck like that and use that as sort of like a sleeping area where I would probably sleep at because it'd be the newest and cleanest place. But yeah, I think I think it's doable. It's gonna take a lot of work, but I think it's doable. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna have to do is uh, check the plumbing while I'm up here and see what the restroom situation is. Because I hate coming up here <laughs> And, uh, well, like, I, like, I'm gonna need a toilet. I hate having to come up here and then thinking, oh, man, I gotta take a dump or something. <laughs> you know, like, right now, I'm kind of... My biological clock, I guess, from going to school and work and then everything else, my biological clock right around... Uh, 9, 10, we'll say 10 to 11... I gotta use the bathroom. 
Now, I tried to go early today because I wanted to get up here early today, but my stomach's still grinding, man, right now. I don't want to go back down. I don't want to go poop in the woods or down the hill and poop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I had to come up here early because my, my uncle's been coming super early, and now my, my guts are rumbling, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to figure out a bathroom situation because I'm not too keen... And plus, it's a residential area anyway. The neighbors, I know all the van lifers are like, just go poop in the woods. Bear poops in the woods. Go poop in the woods. And, you know, when I was working security and stuff, y'all hang your ass over a log. Ain't nobody around. Let it go. But people here got binoculars and everything else. They catch me shitting in the woods. They're going to be watching me. And it's just, you got to think about raining and snowing and everything else. I'm going to have to... Uh, figure out some facilities if if the plumbing in this ain't this old trailer ain't no good anymore it should still be good but if it's not i'm gonna have to dig a latrine or uh get a, a rv camper toilet or 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 something i'm gonna have to find a setup of restroom situation especially if i'm gonna be coming up here living more permanently I think uh, like maybe building a separate outhouse, wash house situation out back where that old building was at, like tearing that old building down and in its place, uh, maybe putting the wash house. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll figure something out. But that's something that does need to be figured out because I don't care what the, the, the fake van lifers on the internet says. Uh, ooh you ain't gonna be out digging a, a hole like every time you gotta i mean you know that's what they say just go poop in the woods and dig a hole up in the woods and poop in the woods and wipe the leaves or whatever fuck that <laughs> i've done this i actually live out in this but fuck that no nah, man fuck that india uh, type of, mm -mm. i mean i've had to do that before like when working job sites and stuff it's not so bad but because there's usually nobody around when you're up working security in the middle of the night. Um, but, yeah, every... Nah, man. When it's raining and snowing and middle of the night and there's animals out there, or maybe even bandits. Nah. Nah. And plus that stuff's going to pile up anyway. You know what I mean? Nah, I'll dig a hole. Make a... Uh, if I have to, I'll go out a little bit ways off and dig a hole <laughs> make an outhouse old-fashioned way old hill but that, that, that used to be a common thing around here is like outhouses saying they don't get like a composting toilet or a chemical toilet or something but that will have to be done that, that will have to be done that's one of the things i have to consider and think about uh, fresh water and stuff ain't so much of, much of an issue. The water hookups and stuff still here. It should still work. Uh, even then, there's portable water. Ain't no big deal. Water falls from the sky all the time. I, I ain't worried about the water. Uh, I'm worried about the waste, though. It's something you normally don't want to think about, but yeah. Uh, I started thinking about that today because, like I said, I rushed to get up here and... But anyway, 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 enough chit-chatting. I'm going to sit around, lollygag for a little bit, then we're going in. I'm going to show the some before and afters. I'm going to just show how the condition the place is in right now. And then, uh, and then I'm maybe narrate a little bit and plunder around and try to get a truckload worth out and haul it off tomorrow. Oh man, after all these years not being really in here and looking around, I'm feeling kind of nervous. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this latch off and my mask on and we'll get in there. But let's take a moment to appreciate. This is where the cat door used to be, right? I mentioned before we used to have a creep. I'd get up in the hills and holler at and watch my mom and write her letters and stuff. And one day he took that cat door off and I reached up in and let himself in and I don't know if he's in there sniffing the panties or what he was doing but you could think as a as a single parent single woman you know back in the 
early 90s, late 80s, early 90s when that was going on. It's, it's in the 90s uh, with, a, with a child. Um, how disturbing that would have been. That's what set us on this downward spiral. You know, that's why my fate partly has turned out the way it did because of that asshole. Um, because that's when mom lost her mind, basically. You know, if I do reclaim this place, I'm going to have to clean out the, the brush and stuff and do some underpinning. But yeah, all these years, man, you guys are ready for it. Alright, I'm masked up because you don't know what kind of molds and mildews and funk is in here after all these years. There's a Monica though. That's kind of crazy. Just sitting there like somebody's been playing it. What about that? In fact, I don't remember that chair sitting that way. Uh, but you can see the mess and the foam and stuff. I'm going to have to get up here in here and vacuum. Got a cassette tape, an old battleship. This is my old room in here. I'm going to narrate, and then, like I said, I'll come back and get some beef footage. Um, but, yeah, welcome to the 1980s. Someone in my last video mentioned, ooh, spider webs. Feels like I'm playing Metro Exodus or uh, Lethal Company in real life. Somebody had mentioned the old plastic doorknobs and stuff in a uh when i showed a previous video of this and yeah little literally plastic doorknobs that's how cheap they were gotta watch out not any black widows and stuff uh i'm gonna try see what they did i had this all emptied out when i went to college i emptied all this out there's an old uh, ninja sword wooden sword i emptied all of this out and they came and just dumped it. They they sort of dumped it like a holding storage. And as you can see, it's a mess. I've got truckloads upon truckloads. And all this stuff is probably ruined. You know, it's not worth keeping. I haven't got time to sort through it all. A lot of it's just going to get trashed. I'm going to try to clear this out. What I'm really curious about, though... First, I want to explore Mom's room, but also let's let's take a peek in this bathroom. Let's see how the floor is. The floor seems solid so far, but it looks like the venting has fallen, so you can see straight through some of these vents. Yeah, look at all that. Look at that mess and them rat turds and everything. It isn't solid. It seems solid. It seems solid. Moldy, but solid. I'm going to try to get this mess out. This is the one place I'm going to try to get the mess out of. This is where I'm going to start. Right here. I'm going to load up the truck today. And uh, take this out. Because it would be nice to have a bathroom up here, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, but this is where I'm going to start at. If the floor feels solid. Because that's where the, the... Also, that's where the damage on the outside is at the most. So, yeah, i got to be careful. I've fallen through floors before. If it feels sketchy, I'll have to get a, like a stick and, and reach out there. But, uh... Yeah, you can look and see the, the rat shit in the floor. Wreck. Yeah, it looks like rat shit. Not a clean environment to be in. There's a Jurassic Park cut. Makes you wonder how stuff like this gets scattered around in old houses. Like books and stuff. Here's my mom's old room. And it's dark in here. Maybe I can turn on a light. I'll come back to it and try. Looks like she had a little office set up. There's a propane tank. Doesn't look too bad in here. I mean, this room might be savable. Um, 
But yeah, I, I thought it would be a lot more brighter in here, but the way the shades are, definitely gonna have to come in here with a light and go through all these boxes. This will be the second, the second room I start in. I'm actually gonna come back and uh, double check this with a light on. But yeah, crazy. Crazy how tiny it was. And everything had like this wood paneling. But this room looks serviceable. Like what I was thinking about doing, cleaning this mess out and building a wall like right here and just walling this bad part of the trailer off and living in this part. And there's the old furnace. But so far the floor, the floor feels solid. Here's an old magazine. Uh, looks like it's got the penguin on it, so Batman returns. Crazy. Yeah, crazy, crazy. I haven't been in here since well I haven't lived here since like ninety ninety six, ninety seven. That was a but I haven't really been in here. I guess the last time I was in here was in the early, uh, the early uh, 2000s. That was probably that age right there is the last time I was in there. It's probably the most recent photo of me. Got the mullet and everything. Um, but yeah, you look at the, the fake wood ceilings the ceilings look good the lamps look good like you get an inverter and stuff i mean there's some issues but the floor doesn't feel like it's going to fall through on me that's nice we got old mad magazine in the floor leaves in here a semi-modern looking pepsi can in here so it does make me wonder looks like we definitely got rats or mice or something something chewing around trying to nest but this section of the trailer from my mom's room back and you can see how that's designed um i think it'd be livable i think i could come up here and make this into like i mean it doesn't feel nasty or, or musky or too bad in here actually i think this part Wow, look at all this, all those VHS cassette tapes, man. All these old books, old dehumidifier, old aquariums. All the decent stuff is up here, I would say. Because I remember people were trying to flea market. Oh, wow, we got a rack of, of magazines here. What are these? Even more magazines, wow. Steve would like it up here, man. Let's get these over out of the way. Those might be salvageable. Uh, hmm. I'm afraid to touch crap right now. Got a dope model car down there. I can't see it really though. Uh, a Seagate hard drive from Opinion 100. Let's move on. I don't remember that kerosene heater being there. Cause I remember I walked into the kitchen, I thought last time I was here. This is interesting because I've noticed, look at that. Is it like an old hater? Yeah. I could have swore that thing was in the floor last time I was here. It's like last time I was here, things have been moved around. Makes me wonder if we got a squatter. Uh, which could explain why the place is in relatively good condition. What is this on the floor? Got some sort of wiring or something. I don't know. Uh, I've noticed on the windows, I, I don't think my mom did that, but on the windows, I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe I'll, I'm trying to be careful where I step just to be safe. I'm still not 100% confident. Because bleach, is that bleach in that? Yeah, I'm gonna throw that out. Wait for it to eventually bust. 
Uh, well, I don't know if I can show this the way I'm wanting to. They used to use this as flea market in storage, but you can see they've they've put they've blacked off that window. Somebody has at some point. That didn't used to be like that. So I don't know if somebody was staying up here or who did that. It was after when I left though. Got all these pictures. One of Corrine. I might take that down with me. But yeah, it seems solid. It seems good. I don't remember. College books, tackle boxes. You know, this is Son of Godzilla over there. National Geographics. This would be the fun end. Now let's go on to, to over here. There's my old globe, not light globe. I don't, I don't know if it's in here, but whatever. Old TVs, old fucking telescope. They throw his weights away because I'm afraid them weights will start pushing on the floor. A lot of cobwebs over there, so I don't know. I was wanting to look and see if I could see down in there, but I'm gonna have to find something to knock it out with first. Bunch of tools and junk. Spices still in the spice rack. Cabinet doors have been opened up. Oh wow. Lighter fluid. With fluid still in it. That needs to throw it out. In case it busts and starts rotting the place down more than it already is. Knoxville Zoo. Uh, Dollywood. Bush Gardens. Looks like we've had a squirrel or something up there living. Glasses. I used to sit here on the floor as a little kid and play with the ABCs on the refrigerator. Dixie Stampede. Look at all these kerosene heaters. I guess if one of these kerosene heaters worked, though, I guess I'd have my heating solution taken care of. But yeah, this end of the trailer it looks like an old cable box. Following cabinets, work helmet. I cannot see. Maybe the camera can see down in there, but that used to be that second room, but the floors fell in. I was afraid the floor in here would be fell in, but it's not. There I look in the cupboard. <coughs> <coughs> Stacked full of boxes, even in here. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of work. <laughs> Look at all that like poop and rat shit and stuff to old RCA TV. I really don't want to venture too far in this way because there's a lot of like, yeah, I'm right up against a cobweb or a spider web. Uh, this will be the last room I get to. I'm going to start on that end and work my way down. But yeah. Crazy. Crazy. All this good stuff once was good stuff when it was first put up here. Now, wasted. I really want to look in the refrigerator, but that'll have to be another video for another day. I'm going to plunder around <clears throat> some 
sorry. The ugh, mold and stuff starting to actually get to me. Probably not very healthy in here. Probably should have a respirator, but whatever. Uh, what is this? What even is that? Traffic department at 2192. I don't even know. Some world book encyclopedias. These are old DOS games is what these are. Damn. Oh, crazy, man. Like, just the, the... I see a Mr. Bill tape. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Son of Godzilla. I don't know what else. It's over there. We've got our Mr. Duster. Right there. He's too poor to have a dust buster. So I got a Mr. Duster robot. Uh, yeah. Memories, man. Memories. This looks brand new. Like I said, they was using this as flea marketing. So what Perlu would do, would come in the front door and just drop stuff off. Actually, let's see like what some of these magazines are. They have had rat turds on top of them. Oh, yeah. Omni magazines had a subscription to like these sci-fi type coast to coast AM style magazines. Yeah, I remember those. Uh, whoops. See if anything's in these drawers. I can't if anybody's hid anything. The crazy thing, right? <clears throat> okay, that drawer on the side opened. That one won't open. The crazy thing is I could have swore could have absolutely swore that those top drawers are smished down they won't open i could have swore that there was a and i had to go back and look at the footage there was like a cabinet the the dresser that went with with this the dresser was here in here too but it don't seem to be here anymore so, like I said, I think there's been people coming in and out, which, like I said, they're more than welcome to get any of this junk because it's, I'm not keeping any of it. Oh. I do wonder how stuff gets tossed around in places like this and misarranged. I guess animals and wind does it. I don't know. Mostly the only thing I'm going to keep... In here is stuff like the the photographs rest of it's gonna go um check that out an old typewriter that's what i learned to type on one of the the typewriters and the ribbon oh shit the ribbon is like i mean thrown clear across the thing there now th that's what i'm talking about like, you see how the ribbon's coming out of that, and it's went down here and been thrown up there and over there? How does stuff like that happen? Because you have to take the thing apart to get down in it to do that, you know what I mean? As far as I know, nobody's been up here taking stuff apart. But, yeah, this is livable. This is serviceable. There's another old word processor. Probably is what this monitor goes to. These are word processor monitors, by the way. They're black and white LCD-ish. But I'm going to try to get in that bathroom. There's an old butt bag full of cleaning supplies. Which might come in handy. A little vacuum. I'm going to look in my mom's room. Because I never got to plunder her room. And then I'm going to start cleaning the uh, bathroom out. Man memories are flooding back to me it's like chris said though the only thing left in this place is memories you can see down through the the floor there oh it's rotten uh-oh i do see some trouble this side is rotted be careful going over that onto that side 
that side is definitely rotted and that's because that window's been open crap. Huh. Well, it feels solid over here at least, but luckily, yeah, when I start cleaning out over there, I better be careful. Well, fuck. Oh, well. <sighs> there goes the plan of living up here. That That is literally rotted all the way through. Still, I need to go through a lot of this stuff and see what's left, you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm looking mainly for old photos and stuff. So I still need to go through it, but... Fuck. I guess I'll just have to put a twister, or a... Or put a, uh... Because if it's rotted there, it's probably rotted under the cabinets and stuff too. Fuck. Oh well. Like I said, I'm mainly coming for stuff like that. And just to clean this stuff out because if I don't get it cleaned out now, it'll end up like un un unsavable. <sighs> oh well. But at least it does feel pretty solid. I'm guessing there's a metal beam. If you see how that floor is kind of bowed, I'm guessing there's a metal beam. Because uh, it does have a metal superstructure up under it that runs. Under it. So as long as I stay on the beams, I should be all right. Um, if you notice also the the uh, linoleum we got laying down in here is the same linoleum that was in that old building out there. But y'all just take it in, take it in. If anybody can remember this place back in the day, you know, it's a junk heap now. Sad times. I can remember as a kid, Actually, I got a old photo. We used to have our TV here of me and Steve playing NES and Super NES. He used to put the Christmas tree up there. Uh, used to use this hallway, roll the car, Hot Wheels and cars up and down the hallway. My bedroom was out there. Used to have that whole door stickered and covered in stickers. But yeah, I'm gonna try to turn the light on. Look in my mom's room. I don't know if I'll be able to do it on camera or not though. All right, we can get about three more bags into the Danger Ranger. Um, I'm going to come back to these boxes and show you some neat stuff momentarily. But uh, while we're at it, while we're in here, I'm feeling a little dizzy headed. I don't know if it's the fumes or whatever's in here or maybe just breathing in through the mask. But it's about time for me to quit anyway. Take a break. But I will show you the current project progress. Would have been a little faster if one of the bags didn't shatter. Um, yeah, I've got most of this cleared out. That whole bathtub full is, uh, that's probably one whole truckload right there. There's an old Subaru uh, cover. Under this, there's no lid on this commode up under this. There's a bunch of dead rats down in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I'll show that later. I'm going to try to fill that and flush it, actually. When I get the rest of this cleaned out. The floor in there feels solid, though. But i got one more truckload worth in the bathroom. And if you look, this is where the outside has ripped loose. Because I can hear it flapping. You can see where it's leaking and, and molding and stuff in here. So this is probably the worst place between all the dead rats and all the black mold and found bird's nests and everything else. Uh, this is the worst place to be, so I'll be glad to get that done. This is why I started on it first. Uh, really feel like I should have came in here with a respirator, but oh well, too little, too late. Um... Yeah, got that done. Now I'm going to show you these boxes. It's kind of neat. Okay, now here's some of the neat finds that I found. Aside from a shit ton of magazines, they're almost in pristine condition, which is a shame that I'm going to trash them, but whatever. And some Clorox bleach with bleach still in it. And uh, a bird's nest with eggs and stuff still in it. We got, uh, I'm pretty sure these are Steve's magazines because I never was into Street Rotter or a boat modeler 
uh, he was always into model cars and stuff. And I found like a bunch of model car paint supplies and stuff that's that's no good now. But I also found, and I was just thinking of this. I literally had just looked these up on uh, YouTube. My old Subwars. I remember this predating my Game Boy. And they played it over at South Host and Lake. But what's even crazier, right, is I seen these boxes and they was really neatly packed. And I was looking at these, and they had like, you know, shipping addresses like they had been mailed. And I was thinking, well, maybe this is from my old uh, drop shipping days or something. No, what these are, these are my food supplies. When I got arrested, I didn't even know these were up here. These are my canned food supplies that the FBI boxed up and mailed back from when I was at college when they arrested me for domestic terrorism. As you can see, I had a lot of canned foods. So that's what I was, I didn't have refrigeration. I was living in an RV. So I was living off canned food and you'll see like green beans, a lot of, a lot of like baked beans, 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 and more beans. I'm not gonna dig come through that, but um, that is what that's from. And it's gross. I'm gonna have to bag it all up into a separate trash bag. Double bag it, maybe. But yeah, because I've not got much room left in the old Danger Ranger, except for maybe about three more bags. And this looks like, to be safe, at least two bags worth right here. So maybe I can get one more bag and then and out of there and then these and I'll be done for the day and I'll haul this load off in the morning come back up get the rest of that bathroom done and I'll be done with the bathroom yep also I'm feeling a little dizzy and lightheaded because again lord knows what I've been breathing in in there hopefully I don't get sick uh, I grew up around this area so I'm hoping there's nothing native around here that I've not already been exposed to but I've had all my shots and vaccines but you never know I had to bring it back here in the shade in order to prevent the glare. And even, even in the shade, it's kind of got some glare. But stuff like this is what I came for. I'm going to take all these pictures out individually. There's Pearly. And uh, who knows, maybe they got stuff written on the back of them. But this is the only stuff that I'll be saving. It's like old photographs and documents. This little Ford Ranger though, man, I might've got ripped off on it, but I tell you what, I haven't used a vehicle like this since Putt-Putt. This is like Putt-Putt 2.0 is what this thing is. Aside from literally living in it and overlanding in it, like the amount of work that I've been using this little thing for, it's just crazy. <laughs> of course, I've named this one Luna. For obvious reasons. Come on, you know why. It's it's silver and black, right? And it's an alcoholic and likes to drink a lot. And it's got a bad attitude and has reliability issues. But she's still pretty. She's still her baby. Um, simp for Luna, sorry. Uh, anyway, we're not going to get into that. Fun fact, I used to work for... Uh, White Wolf Studios and Dark Quest. I've been published, and I've met some people, and I know some people that know some people that know some people that had some voice acting connections to maybe, possibly, uh, Vizzy Pop. But we'll not get into that, uh, even though I didn't name my truck after her. Uh, <laughs> digging my grave here. And it's full of trash, too. So, yeah, it's trashy. <laughs> I'm just making it worse. Um, anyway, this little ranger, man... These size, like, America needs to make trucks like this again. I know there's the Maverick, but like all American companies, they need to make a small pickup truck because one, just as a runabout and driving around, it's great. And two, when you actually have to haul stuff, it's great. The only thing I don't like about this truck, like I said, is it's got the big V. I mean, I might change my mind if I actually had to haul something that weighed over 5,000 pounds, but uh, it's got the big V8, or not the V8, the V6, which is almost as big as a V8. It's hard to believe this little itty-bitty truck 
has a 4.0 in it. Uh, that's double the size of what was in my Volkswagen bus, by the way. My, my bus had a 2.0. Uh, my old RV camper van had a 4.3, like Chevy's equivalent. You know, Chevy's uh, 4.3 and Ford had the 4.0. Um, and you can really tell it in the mountains. I mean, it does help when you're loaded down like this. Got a couple hundred pounds extra reaching the limit. I tried to be careful because my bed's broke. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I've got a lot of use out of this thing, and I did not think I would get this. I didn't think I'd be using it for truck stuff. I thought I was going to put a camper in the back of it. But I have been hauling crap for myself and other people, like, nonstop almost. It's crazy. Or to low it down and flea market it. And I never knew how... Uh, utilitarian a truck could be never owned one this is my first truck i've always been more of a van person uh due to the hashtag van life thing though i couldn't get one but yeah she's doing good so far after you know the repairs all right that'll be the end of episode six february the 6th 2024 it was a pretty productive day and again i'm looking over at myself when the camera's over here I uh, apologize for that. I should look at the camera, but it's a weird angle. Um, I think I can do two truckloads a day, and I just want to say that that whole trailer, before I got incarcerated, was completely cleaned out and empty. It's when I was away and had went off to school and I had uh, gotten into legal troubles and everything else that people literally using it as a dumping ground like in the bathroom i was looking at the bags of stuff in the bathroom and to my surprise is literally trash bags just, just trash like little literal trash from my uncle next door who ironically enough he told me somebody took the lock off of that that old uh trailer up there don't know who did it i'm like okay yeah, i didn't think anything about it i feared he did it and went in there and plunged he was using it as a trash dump because he was too lazy to take his trash down and, and drop it off himself at the side of the road. <laughs> uh, which is fair game because, you know, he's helped me out with stuff over the years. Uh, he let mom live with him and I think he let Steve and Tina live with him so I can't complain too much. Uh, but, you know, people using my old place as a mini storage and trash dump and everything else. Mom, when she moved in with my other uncle, she, I had the whole thing cleaned out. And she just stuck, you saw what the room looked like, piled it to the ceiling. My room, I had my room cleaned out. I was using, when I was wholesaling what I was doing, I would load the bus, uh, my old Vol Volkswagen, I'd go flea market and wholesale and, and I would use that sort of as like a temporary storage spot. And I kept it, and when I wasn't using it, I, you know, hung out and stuff up there. Like I said, I was thinking about going back up on the hill. And, uh, totally trashed it they totally trashed it then my grandparents um they used it as a mini storage a lot of their stuff was up there and then a lot of my uncles and stuff stuff was up there and i look like a, even my cousin <laughs> was using it for storage and, and his wife and, and stuff was up there so you know there's a lot of model cars stuff up there and i really wasn't into model cars i had a few but like magazines and everything else and it's, it's a shame like if i if i see anything that's worth keeping i'll keep it if i can but a lot of it's already bagged up and a lot of it's just going straight in the trash um unfortunately i don't know if i'm going to be able to save that place because where the air conditioner was at at least in the living room the floor is starting to rot over in the corner so you can see the, the ground. I might have pointed that out in the video. I don't know if I did. Uh, but estimation, how long it's going to take at this rate, like me just taking it slow and easy. Uh, I can do two loads a day. Because you got to remember the, the dump also closes. But I can do two loads a day. Possibly three if I put a third load out and get it on the ready and on the standby for the next day. Um... And it's about, my room is, I, I think my room is going to be at least four to six loads. 
like the, 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 the on my, my main back bedroom, the one that's stacked to the ceiling, like right when you go in the door, that's gonna be four to six loads. So that's gonna be at least two to three days worth. Um, the bathroom is almost finished. I'll have it finished tomorrow. Uh, so that was two days. And then my mom's room. I think my mom's room's gonna go. I don't know. I'm gonna plunder in there. I'll see what's hidden. You know, I'm, I'm I'm wondering if there's any any good stuff. I found a few little treasures, like some pictures and stuff, which I'll show. Like anything good, I'll find. I'll show later. Mostly, I'm looking for memories. It's like uh, Mr. Hess said. The only thing that's really gonna be up there for any of us is memories. Although I did find a few neat, like uh, in the box, still RC cars and and stuff. Um, but I'll show all those later, and I found some, some photos, and that's really what I'm looking for, is the old photos, and, and so forth. I think my old NES is up there, I would like to find that, just for, for keepsakes, you know, being a gamer, and all. Um, but, but most of it's gonna be trashed. Uh, if I see any magazines up there that like there's a if they're clean and they look like they ain't had rat shit and piss all over that's the problem with a lot of magazines rats and mice are attracted to stuff like paper like magnets they like to eat that stuff and shit and piss all over it and man i tell you that's another thing which you might have saw in the video but first of all the toilet situation the toilet, I looked in the toilet, and there it looks like there's generations upon generations of mice that have... <laughs> I'll sh I'll, when I get more of the bathroom cleaned, I'll show it, just for the gross-out sake. I didn't... Like, I lifted that up, and I instantly put that... Because I thought there was a lid on it. Uh, but there's somebody's just set a trash bag down on top of it, I guess, because it was so gross. I don't remember that trash bag being on it. I do remember... Uh, I do remember when I was younger seeing one or two had fallen in there, but there's like of a bunch of bones and fur down in there. And then there was an old trash can. It was an empty trash can. And when I lifted the lid up, just a bunch of corpses. They had jumped. They had jumped in the trash can and couldn't get out, poor things. Um... And I worry about disease and shit when it comes to that. Um, what I'm thinking, though, like I said, I grew up around here. Uh, everything around here, like when I was a kid, you know, I pretty much ingested everything locally here as far as viral stuff and bacteria and, and so forth. Um, I think I have a pretty strong natural immunity everything here, so I'm not too worried about it, but there was some black mold and stuff and... It's just a little bit of a musky smell. It's not too bad in there, actually. It's not as bad as you would think it is. I guess because the windows were open and the air passes through. Uh, came across birds' nests. I was digging out boxes, and I was like, hey, what's all this? It's like something had collected a bunch of moss, and it was dry moss. And it, I made it a nest, and I was thinking, well, this is a rat's nest or something. But I looked down in it, and there were eggs, and I felt really bad. <laughs> Uh, I hope they weren't fresh. I'd, I'd say they're, they were dead eggs because any eggs would have been... They wouldn't be eggs in the winter time. Um, but they were little itty bitty eggs about that big. A few of them in there. And uh, it was a bird's nest. Uh, it, the bird had collected like a, a, a cardboard box full of moss. And it had burrowed into the moss. And... I guess that moss is good insulation and the, the bird was smart because it got in through that window and it made its little nest. First it's sheltered inside the, the trailer and then, um, you know, it, it, it built up that like moss inside. Then it built the, got in a box and then it stuffed moss in the box and then it built a hole about like that and rolled down in into the moss. And I'm looking at that. I'm like, wow. I wish I took a picture of it now, now to think about it. Um, actually, you might can see some of it in the boxes where I had the canned food and stuff. You can see where I dumped it out. <laughs> Maybe you go back and watch the video and you'll see that that's what that, that, that big pile of moss is a bird's nest. Um, 
and it had egg a few eggs down it but i think the eggs they probably were uh, dead uh, because now that i think about it bird wouldn't be laying eggs right now in this season they'd be laying them in the spring so i don't feel too bad about it now maybe something will find it and eat it <sighs> who knows uh but yeah pretty cool day i've enjoyed the day i think i'm gonna do this every every fucking day i can get because it gives me an excuse not to be around my uncle um and now that i've gotten the outdoor part of it done um you know i don't have to worry about him trapping me in i can literally just walk up there and uh i'm saying uh a lot because i'm tired i can literally just walk up there and start cleaning it out transfer the stuff to the to the building or just once I get one room, a, a good secure room cleaned out, I can kind of, you know, put them in like the living room or something if it's, the stuff is clean. I don't think it's going to take that long, though. I think it'll take about six loads. I'm, I'm thinking it'll take, oh, uh, let me think. My room will probably take about four days. That's what I'm thinking. My room will take about four days in total at this rate i'm going i could probably go faster but i'm gonna say four days in total in my room one we'll say one week one weekend one week my my room and then my mom's room will probably take another four days another one week one weekend because again I'm, I'm looking through this stuff i'm plundering some it's not like i'm just throwing it you know some of it i'm just throwing but a lot of it i'm like hmm what is this this is neat let me record it let me document it let me look at this oh i remember this memories i remember memory berries um so I'm going slower than I could. So one week for my room, one week for my mom's room, one week for the living room and kitchen. Three weeks, I'll be done. End of February, I'll be done. Start of spring. That's perfect timing, actually. I can get up there and, who knows, start maybe cleaning the place up. Like, like take some bleach. A lot of bleach. I actually found some old bleach up there that was still good, believe it or not. I found an old one-pound propane tank up there that was still good. And that's the other crazy thing is I personally haven't been in there since 2007. 2007. 2006. 2007 was the last time I was ever in there and I was just that was just going in and out dropping stuff off and picking it back up when I was flea marketing and wholesaling on the side hadn't lived up there or really used that place since 1997 it's like stepping in a fucking dime capsule like I said I found a bunch of pictures and stuff and the pictures are dated and, I'm, and it's like pictures of family and so forth too I'm gonna try to get them get it you know anything like if I find some of Steve's or Wilma and Bill jeans or whatever and i think that they would want it i'm gonna hold on to it and get it back to them uh i'm good at archiving and the scholarly stuff i even found some accucheck uh <laughs> accucheck uh phosphate regen from back when my mom was doing environmental science once i didn't know what the fuck that stuff was i was like oh my god is this a like bomb making material or me <laughs> you know? but it was just uh for uh checking uh, uh, environmental crap i don't know exactly what it's for but it's like science vials and i was looking it up and it's like 50 bucks uh it's a big old it's probably all it's all no good now but it's always like 50 bucks a crate of that and there's a whole box a whole bag full of it like probably a thousand dollars back in the day probably a thousand dollars worth of it she probably got it for 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 her school classes or something back when because she, she was trying to take environmental science and uh, never did get, never was able to finish that because of all the stuff that happened, like I mentioned before. Uh, and that's like me. In closing, you know, I'm going to go this at the end of this year, after I get done cleaning, that's one of the reasons I'm cleaning that up. I'm going to finish my fucking associate's degree. Even if I have to take art, because I've decided if I, even if I have to take art and just be an artist, because that's what I've been doing all these years, you know, for, for beer money and stuff. If I get an art degree and I go into graphical engineering and I'm doing like 3D modeling and cat work. I can do that. I'm already doing that. And it doesn't require all the fucking math and stuff, you know, 
anything's better than nothing. If I have to do that, I will. Wish me luck, folks. More to come later.